Thank you. Thank you. Behind. How you doing, man? I'm Andy Emilio, ES News. Good. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. At least set back. And um, I want to know, man, with all the fighters under the Golden Boy banner or outside of the banner, you're always dropping knowledge, always dropping gems. Who's been the most receptive to your tutelage? The most receptive is many, man. I mean, who can you say? You know, I don't really, really I really don't like, like a hundred. I can name at least twenty fighters out of out of Gordon. There's more than twenty, but that's a lot. A lot of guys I know by faces, but I'm just trying to tell you, and I'm learning more, and that's a little bit of my ignorance, uh, because I'm really active doing a whole bunch of things, and you know, I'm very sharp, but every now and then names get kind of like foggy, especially when they're young and they're just coming up. But in spite of all that, um, we have a great opportunity to take some of the young, great, some of the young, good talent to mold into that superstar status and let y'all watch them grow up through the local stations, the preliminary stations, up to an HBO pay-per-view, which Triple G is getting his first crack at. I'm excited about who we have under our Golden Boy umbrella, not for what's happening now, because what's happening now, we could sustain many fights for a few years from now. But if we don't have that youth, like in any country, place of thing, uh, you, the youth keeps the population moving. And the population of boxing has always been built, like everything else, on youth, then adult, young adult, to adulthood. That's the same way I look at it in boxing. You have the amateurs. You have the rookie seasons and the early pros, like they have in basketball. Mm -hmm. The preliminary four-rounders, eight-rounders, six-rounders, and ten-rounders, where now you, you're positioning yourself for to be rated in the top 15, correct? Mm -hmm. Those steps, like they have in life, like they have in developing, it's the same thing, the process that I understand and don't deviate in boxing. <laughs> Golden Boy is gonna be around, as long as this world stand and boxing still exists, and we do also, a long time. Before I leave, I wanna say something that you didn't ask. <laughs> and one of the reasons, just based on the health-wise, taking care of your temple, taking care of a stressful mind, body, spirit, and a stressful business where you got to be up on your game all the time, where you got to be aware of all the snakes that's hidden or in front of you. You have to be on point on all these things. When you stay in condition and you treat yourself right and you don't pollute yourself with poison, your mind ain't clear. Your body don't deteriorate. See, the Golden Boy family, for the ones that don't know, I'm telling them. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be as sharp as you think you are because you're deteriorating because you're polluting your mind with bad food and bad things, so you feel tired, you're not up on your game. I want people around me alert. So I think like I was at one time a negative street guy. I always want to be on point, and so I don't see no I don't see nobody I don't see nobody yeah I don't see nobody in boxing that really tries to take care of themselves to be around in the game long enough. They all die early: heart attacks, overweight, diabetes, the whole nine yards. But they don't care about that. They care about other things that's not important, but they don't, their own self, they don't even invest in how smart they are. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for hopping on. Can you sign this for charity? Excuse me? I'll not know.